What's up internet? Seeing you whoopie here. Action driving vlog. Welcome to the IRL channel. Hey, we've got music today. Listen to this. Some good music. So. If you've been paying attention to the uh, IRL channel, the uh, most recent video that came up, the taco video, features this song and another song from the CD. You should go check it out and uh, see if you can support A.O. Donovan, which is the name of the band. Lead singer is the guy I work with, so totally worth it. I'd rather use this than some royalty free music that I've never seen in my life before, so I'd say this is better. But important uh, news from around the world Russia invaded Ukraine, and all these EU com er, countries are pulling their forces out of Ukraine and saying they're not gonna fucking help nobody unless Russia withdraws like right the fuck now because they're doing it sneaky they're like sending troops in with no insignia making it black ops style crazy shit that's how you start World War 3 Russia that's not cool <clears throat> isn't it not bad enough uh, Ukraine's under waves and waves of protesting uh, I don't even know the right word residents yeah that's not the change that they need the Soviet Union no I saw something on reddit the other day it was uh, I don't remember the episode of the Simpsons it was from but it showed like a Simpsons style monologue kind of gif and uh, it was like Russia at the EU and he pushes the button and his sign flips over and it goes from Russia to the Soviet Union and he's like -ha -ha -ha. and then it's like it just cuts to Moscow and all of a sudden all the like floats and stuff like that just pop open with tanks it's like we've been waiting for this moment like, I can see that. It's Russia. It's hard to forget what Russia did while I was growing up during the Cold War. Actually, I'm not so sure that was really going on when I was growing up. I just know a shit ton of people talked about it. kind of like to Google that. When did the Cold War end? Let's see what that says. Russia, just take your shit out of fucking Ukraine. Why, why do you even want Ukraine anyway? You've got the biggest country in the world. You really want to steal Ukraine? I mean, what does Ukraine have? Fucking coastline? It's nice, I admit, but worth starting World War III over? No. No, 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 no. You can get coastline anywhere else. You can buy it fucking buy Ukraine away from them, they'll be happy as hell because what do they need right now? Money to rebuild their cities from fucking riots. It just makes sense. Russia. Makes me thirsty. Ooh, that tastes funky. With, uh, brush teeth. On uh, video game news, I've set my foot down inside my head, and I'm going to get the Stick of Truth when it comes out and play that on my gaming channel for everybody. So, because I know that's a uh, popular game, I'm trying to be relevant. But what my uh, graphics designer is trying to pound into my head. It's like, be fucking relevant. <laughs> like, okay, I'm trying. I was going to 
to get um, Titanfall, but since I don't have an Xbox One or a PC that can handle Titanfall, I, uh, I'll wait. And since I'm going to have to wait for the 360 version anyway, admittedly I would like to play Titanfall, so I'll probably buy it when it gets really cheap because it will get really cheap for the Xbox 360 given that nobody's going to have copies of it because everybody in the right mind will probably buy it for the Xbox One and if they really want to play it like bad enough they'll buy an Xbox One. Woo! Barely made it through that yellow light. It's going to be a good day. But the stick of truth, that shit just looks awesome. Only because I'm a really huge fucking South Park fan. And what can I say? It looks amazing. I've never been much of a uh, turn-based RPG kind of person, but I think this game will unlock that inside of me. I mean, I played Pokemon. If I can stand to play Pokemon Red and Gold, then I can play Stick of Truth, no problem. And the comedy should keep me hanging on the entire time. pretty tired tonight. I spent forever working on uh, some videos yesterday. Put out the Black Ops video on the gaming channel. Put out a uh, Laura Croft and the Guardians of Light video. Me and Daniel also did. Or uh, She Wants the Derp, I should say. Yeah. And then after that I uh, did some fancy editing work. The most editing I think I've ever done on a video ever for that uh that taco video. I should have done an intro now that I think about it, but hey, it's a start. Never added pictures to a video before. I'm I'm in uh Windows Media territory right now. <laughs> Whoa. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. It's like your Mini Cooper, so that's become paste all over my Honda.
know, I've been 26 driving vlogs without music, and this is probably a big change for you guys, but I hope it's a good change. Trust me, editing these videos the silence fucking kills me. Looks like it's gonna rain balls all of a sudden. Just let me get inside the lows before it start raining, please. back outside almost immediately because fucking nobody wants to take off the kingpin with me. Yeah. You know, I bet it wouldn't be hard for me to create a automatic unlocking device that whenever our trucks that come and drop off trucks of freight as soon as they pull up, it like an electronic clicker inside of it unlocks the device. Then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, you can just pull right back up and it'll be fine. Man, it's uh, it's a bit crowded here now today. Let's see, where am I going to park? Really tight spot. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed Action Driving Vlog 27. I do believe that's what this is. Again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You've been listening to CD here. Special Gun, A. A. O'Donovan Special Gun. That's the name of the CD. Anyway, CD is five bucks. If you pick it up at one of their shows, I'm gonna try and contact the dude to see if we can get more copies of the CD to sell online. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, the more you clamor for it, the more we'll get it. Let's just one more time. Ah, ta -ra.